two of the creatives behind the music video Blossoms. So we've got Adrian, aka Drexler, and we also have Sebastian Olmos, who was the DP on the video. How are you guys doing? Really good, man. How are you? Really good. Yeah, doing well. Um, well, thank you for you know submitting your video to um, to the Family and Film Fest. It was great it was like nice and trippy and all of that um how did the idea for it come about um so actually jonathan who's a mutual friend of sebastian and i he came up with the concept like pretty early um basically i i gave him the music and he kind of came away with this concept of a girl who's kind of uh had this augmented reality and like is daydreaming and kind of it's uh, the city versus the nature and thing so he had that concept really really early um and then like it took us nearly a year to make this just because of our work schedules and stuff like that um but from the beginning like that that was the concept and we stuck with that which is quite unusual i think <laughs> um there's a nice uh, sort of like blend of like camera work and effects um that just you know really sort of complemented each other how much effort must go into sort of like planning that, knowing exactly how it's going to look before you sort of develop the effects for it? Um, yeah, actually, I, I think I think there was uh, there was a handful of of, of ideas and kind of um, experimental techniques that we had in mind from the get go. But I, for the most part, we just shot whatever we thought would be visually interesting. Obviously. And keeping in mind the uh, the concept, you know, that we had from the beginning. But when it came to actually shooting, we just shot whatever we thought looked cool, and then it came together in in post. You know, so I think we loosely shot some sequences to make sure that that would at least cut together well. But then everything else was just more, you know, on the fly. So that was quite fun. It allowed for quite a lot of freedom, I think. Yeah, we we did have the idea. Jonathan did have the idea of like. Um, the city and the nature mirroring each other. So like if um, Marie, the actress was grabbing like some leaves, she'd be grabbing something else in the city and doing that same yeah. action. And then us editing that straight, uh, like um, off each other, basically. So yeah. we, we had, you guys have planned all those things, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think, yeah, it was a nice mix of pre-planned and just uh, on the go. So, um, some of the techniques that we had uh, for sure that we had in mind were to uh, to cut uh, with the editing technique uh, uh, match on action. So for example, the hand touching the leaf and even just facial expressions or a simple hop, she would start the jump in, in the city and then finish the, the jump in the forest, for example. So it's just little little techniques. And then once we actually got to the location, we chose the exact spot to do it wherever it seemed interesting. So yeah, it was, it was quite, uh, it's quite free, really, we just went with it. And a, a lot of the, uh, a lot of the, the shots actually turned out to be a uh, way more interesting than I anticipated. So yeah, it was just it was cool just to show up and then spot a certain location where we thought it would be you know cool to shoot we did it and it came out pretty good so yeah i'm quite happy with it i went to a uh, university um with jonathan the director of this music video uh and i always had the dream to to work in features or you know high-end drama uh, but coming out of it, I ended up uh, landing a job in marketing and doing a couple of like corporate, uh, corporate filmmaking jobs uh, as an assistant, as an operator, as a camera, like a lighting cameraman, just a mix of everything, just whatever I could get my hands on, really. Uh, and then about two years ago, I decided to make a move, uh, make a move into into camera assisting on TV. I did about a year at a rental company and then uh, I've just, it's just been the one year anniversary, anniversary, sorry, of, a, uh, of me being a camera assistant slash trainee in high-end TV. So I've got that background. Um, and then on the side, I've been shooting a few things, a few pa passion projects. Uh, and I've been, uh, I've been actively trying to, to do that more often so I can you know, practice my craft and become a better cinematographer. And this this is one of the projects where I've been able to do that. So I'm really, really grateful for that. 
And, um, you know, I've been doing music, playing music all my life since I was five. I started playing violin and piano, um, then went to the Conservatorium of uh, Music in Sydney, studied composition there, and then went to film school. Um, so I just kind of always knew I wanted to write music. Um, when I moved to London about eight years ago, I, I was doing like music for ads and then wanted to branch out into film and TV. Um, so I was kind of stuck just kind of working and trying to make a living out of my music. Um, but then realized that I didn't have like my own passion project. So that's why I've started Drexler, which is, um, which is where this music video comes from. Uh, and I've got an album coming out now on the 17th of July. So it's just kind of, um, having both sides, like having my film TV composition work, scoring stuff, then having my artist thing. Um, and then in terms of meeting Seb and working on this project, it was like, you know, meeting Jonathan at a BAFTA crew. And we just got along as mates and um, just wanted to make something together. So it looks like it was worth it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. Definitely. Adrian, so you've um, composed like quite a few different areas, but is there one sort of, is there one project that you would love to be able to work on? I mean, it's, it's a funny question because like, you know, the people I look up to are like, you know, Niels Fram or Olaf Reynolds or Max Richter, like these guys are releasing their own music but also like doing really awesome films or TV shows and stuff. And um, I think nowadays, like, you know, it shouldn't be like stuck onto like one thing that we want to do because there's so many different like ways of expressing yourself and so many different like, you know, types of medium. So um, yeah, I mean, I want to do like TV drama or like feature films, like long form stuff where I can develop ideas, you know, cr create a real sound world um, and experiment. But then I also like have really enjoyed doing my artist stuff and like it kind of feeds off each other. I think the more I like work on my artist projects and, and learn about who I am as a, a, as a writer or a composer, like the better that is for my like compo um, my TV and film work, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. And like, um, you know, obviously with film and TV, you're like, you're there to help tell the story. You're there to get direction from, you know, the director or the writer. Um, but with my artist thing, I can do whatever I want. So I think it's been like pretty liberating having both both of this both of this stuff going on. So, but I mean, like in terms of like film stuff, yeah, definitely like writing music for a drama or doing a feature film, um, and then just keep doing what I'm doing with the the Drexler stuff. Nice. Mm. Um, all right. Uh, one more question from me. Um, are there and are there any other projects that you have coming up yep. that you can talk about? That you're uh, yeah, yeah. Actually, um, so the star of Blossoms is uh, Marie Osmond, and she actually uh, she's a singer herself. So uh, um, so together, right now we're in pre-production for uh, for possibly uh, a music video in the future. It's, it's very early days, so obviously can't uh, speak too much about it. But it's, it's quite, yeah, it's quite fun. It's, um, it's just quite fun being able to uh, collaborate with someone like her because she, she's really passionate about what she does. So uh, yeah, I'm excited just to have a, yet another opportunity to shoot something. So like I said about this, about Blossoms, it was a great opportunity for me to experiment as a cinematographer and as well as a camera operator. So like just to have another opportunity to do that, you know, with someone that I get along with like Marie, then yeah, that's gonna be great. So yeah, I've got, that's that's in the works for me. Yeah, it'd be cool. Yeah, and um, for me, I, I was writing some music for a documentary about the Hong Kong protests. Um, I kind of uh, was doing that before lockdown and then it kind of went, went on, got put on hold and they're still shooting because they're still protesting in Hong Kong. So yeah. Um, Hoping to finish that up soon. Um, just submitted a, hopefully a final draft for a short. Um, and then I've been sent a couple of scripts uh, for features. So kind of in early stages for that as well. Mm -hmm. Nice, cool. Uh, looking cool. forward to seeing both of those. I'd like to say thank you to uh, Ali Wilson for color grading this music video. He did a great job and he listened to what I, what I was thinking and my ideas and he put that on screen. So thank you.
Yeah, and I, I mean, I just want to thank, you know, J Jonathan, Seb, uh, Marie, and like Ellie, the whole crew, because like, you know, it's just yeah. like very, very low budget. I think it's just a passion project. These guys kind of put in a lot of time you yeah. know, into, you know, something that's like, you know, it's when it's like your music and like people kind of enjoy it or believe in it and will want to help you and stuff like that's always quite, yeah. like, you know, it's an amazing feeling. So um, massive thanks to those guys. I think they smashed, yeah, I think they it, smashed it, it. Yeah. Thank you very much to Marie as well. She put up with uh, with some long hours and being quite cold at some point. So that was great. <laughs> it was quite, it was a lot of uh, effort from all of us. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. I guess, um, yeah, I'll thank you guys again for being part of this and creating the video and uh, sending it for us to show on the show. Thanks for yeah, having so, yeah. Thanks for having thanks us. Again. And happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, happy birthday. Thanks. And yeah, I'm sure we'll speak again soon. Nice